Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our week ahead readings. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm still not 100% back to normal, so bear with me. My voice isn't great. I'm trying to speak up. Um, but I am doing individual videos for each sign to hopefully to, you know, just get back to normal. <laughs> um, this is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Take what resonates, disregard the rest. Be sure to watch all your signs. You can cross watch if you'd like. Information on private readings is always in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much if you have. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, what flew out? Five of Wands flew out. Like, flew out. So let's see. Some tension, some conflict. I think that's the only one. Okay. Some, uh, I get this energy of anxiety over the fact that you get invited to do something. This is the Dancing in the Dark Tarot deck. You have the Timeless Weeklies you can check out if you'd like, and I will be working on the October Monthlies very shortly. Queen of Cups. Okay, Cancer Scorpio Pisces might be relevant. Let's jump in here. I'm going to do a different layout, and you're going to tell me if you like it, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's going on for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in the week ahead. Here we go. All right, this is going to be your overall energy, mindset, tone, mood of the week. This over here is going to be your general life stuff, your career, your finances, your business, education, paperwork, any legal matters. There we go. And this over here is going to be your emotional life and love life, dealing with loved ones, whether they are friends, family, spouses, partners, exes, crushes, new people impacting your emotions okay the bottom of the deck we have the world very nice virgo so with the world at the bottom of that of the deck this is cycles completing you reaching a very big goal for yourself though it's a sense of victory and i did it okay this isn't like a group effort this is like i did it okay so good for you i also see like um recognition rewards promotions could be happening new jobs could be happening um travel or relocation could be happening could also be a sense of something coming back around because i almost heard unfinished business but we'll get into it mercury is retrograde when i'm recording this so it wouldn't surprise me okay Let's look at your general energy here. Overall tone, mood. Six of Swords, that's good. Four of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're headed towards... What, I, what I'm hearing is something to the effect of going to get what's yours. You're going to get what's yours. I also feel this energy of trying to piece something back together because you see how it's like fragmented it's almost like a puzzle could be something to do with either a job or a promotion that you wanted and it's just been a struggle and a challenge a new home situation that you wanted and it's just been a challenge or a commitment that maybe has fallen apart but you haven't released it with the four of pentacles no one no one has released the situation it's still there but it's just it was just kind of just left and it could be that you're now as a result of this completion it's like okay now i can go get this interesting interesting definitely seeing relocation happening for some of you or progress significant progress in that direction or a very significant trip happening to do with money stability or a stable connection in your life whatever type of connection it is okay let's look at general stuff here we have the two of pentacles we have the star very nice definitely wish fulfilled and uh reaching goals when it comes to your career your own business the tower relocation happening you're moving out someone else is moving out you're moving someplace else 
a wish fulfilled unexpectedly for you. So either something is moving faster than what you thought it would, or you were hoping to get a particular answer, but not, you know, it's like, well, that's what I would like to hear, but it's never going to happen. And that's exactly what they're telling you to do with money, to do with mortgage, to do with living arrangement, a sale. So the message there is, if someone asks you what you want, tell them exactly what you want as the baseline to start off from. Do you know what I mean? Judgment. Yeah, definitely a judgment made in your favor. Queen of Pentacles. Your energy or another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or another Earth sign. Or it's to do with money. It's to do with money. And the Five of Swords, yeah. You have been experiencing some tension, some conflict, either in the home, um, although that would fall more in this area, but it's like to do with a living arrangement, maybe involving another earth sign or an Aquarius energy here, and it's like I can't move out or I, or I can't move away from this until I have this, right? Whatever this world is for you. It has to do with a judgment, a valuation, an assessment, and it goes in your favor. And now someone's gonna be bitter about it, just a heads up, but that's not gonna shock you because you know, you know who this is, right? But you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. That's exactly what I was hoping to hear. And things can finally move forward. This is something that has been stagnant with the two fours. Like I said, this has been stagnant. This is what I really want, what I'm holding on to, but I can't move towards it until this is done with the world card here. And this judgment, whatever this is that's being made, that's going in your favor, is exactly what was needed, what was missing, so that now you can start to move towards what you really want okay so you take that as it makes sense but it could be a situation of I can't really look for a new place to live I know what I want but I don't know if I'm gonna have so I know you have a property in mind right I know where I want to live I know what I want to move to but it costs this much I don't have that much I don't know if my house that I'm currently in is worth that much or I can pull the money together, that would be ideal, but I don't know if that can happen. So I can move forward and make an offer on that place because I don't know if I can afford it. In the meantime, you're getting your own house valuated. They're coming back, they're saying, oh yeah, it's worth more than what you thought. And then you're like, oh, I have this now. So I can move towards that, I can make that offer. So it's that kind of a scenario, okay? Definitely a focus on home, and relocation with the four wands of the tower. Um, this could also be to do in terms of job. Like I can't make plans to move until I know if I got this job or not. It could be that, right? I can't make plans to redo the house until I know I have that money coming in from that job, from that promotion, from that whatever it is. And here it is, and now you get to, to go ahead. Whatever it is you're doing, it does involve leaving something behind or someone or a situation where there has been tension, there has been conflict, there has been pettiness, there has been bitterness. That's what you've been trying to get away from with the Six of Swords, but you were not able to do that until this happened, okay? It's happening, is my point, Virgo. This could just be a situation where you just live in a place, whether it's with other people or with it, even family and it's just been chaos it's just been conflict but you were not able to look at other properties until you knew if you got that job or not right because you're like i can't be doing this anymore i'm gonna go out find a job make some money for myself and move out but it's like i can't do that until i know that i got that job until or until i get my first paycheck right or until i can prove that i am making this amount of money so they can consider my application that's what's happening here Okay, anything to do with the courts where something is disputed is going to go in your favor. Okay, courts or legal institutions or people who have to decide who gets what 
or if something is fair or not, or if something is approved or not, it's going to go in your favor. I feel like it will take you by surprise because it has been stuck for so long. And now all of a sudden, not only is it getting unstuck, but you're hearing everything you ever hoped to hear that you were afraid to hope you would hear. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's here. Okay, let's move on to emotional life and love life. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, we have the hangman. You see how that's similar? Where something's been stuck and stagnant because you were waiting for something to wrap up for you or for them or for... Oh, come on, man. There we go. The nine of wands. You've never let go of this. Four of pentacles energy. You see how it's similar? The ten of cups. Going to get what's yours. Seven of swords. There's been a lot of plat and plot... Platin, planning, plotting, strategizing, for God's sake. Four of swords, another four, stuck, stagnant. I hope it doesn't go away while I'm sorting this out. And the Knight of Cups, Virgo. Virgo is the same damn thing. So, something has been stuck and stagnant. You haven't given up on it because it's your happily ever after, right? That's your family. That's the person you want to be with. That's whatever your happily ever after means to you, right? You've already found it. You know what it is. There has not been, there's been a distance, a pause between you and whoever, whatever this is for you. You've never let it go, but it was a case of, I can't do anything about it. So I'm just going to leave it alone for now. Stagnant. Your happiness, holding on to it, but stagnant. Okay? Because something, you needed something. Something was missing. You're at the nine. You needed something to be completed so that you could be done with it so that then you could focus back on this, right? Seven of swords with the four of swords. Like I say, there's been no communication or very little. Um, you didn't want to... It's almost like I don't want to talk about things because that's going to be like, okay, so what are, we, what are we doing? Where is this going? And you would have been like, well, nothing's really changed. Yes, I still want this, but I can't. You know what I mean? type of dynamic and with the seven of swords it's like during this time of pause you've been very busy trying to figure things out trying to make things happen hoping like the seven of swords is like let's not address this <laughs> but I'm hoping it's not gonna go away but let's not address this I'm stalling I need more time so that's why I'm not reaching out that's why I'm not talking that's why I'm not doing anything and I'm hoping it doesn't go away right as a result of this completion, you're like, yes, now I can go in and make that offer. Now I can go in and, and tell that person how I feel. Now I can go in and get them back. Now I can go in and put that right. Now I can focus on love in my life. Okay, but I feel like you already have something or someone in mind with this Ten of Cups here. That has kind of fallen apart with that Six of Swords being fragmented because of this situation going on in your home life, in your business, in your career situation, where you were stuck there. It's like, I want it to be here, but I can't be here. That might've been what led to things fragmenting, falling apart. But yeah, and I get this, this, this sense of, you just kind of let it go. You just kind of let it go. Let it be whatever. And if it goes away, then it goes away. I can't do anything about it anyway. Right? But secretly hoping that it doesn't go away. Do you know what I mean? This is working out now. This, you're being released from whatever this is. And it's like, that's what I was hoping for. That's what I was waiting on. Now I can now go and get what's mine. get this back on track because now I can give to it more right so there might be some important uh, conversations happening here travel might be significant because this hasn't gone, gone away the foundation is still there you have three fours the foundation is still there it's just been left there let's not talk about it let's not look at it let's not push anything right you've used this time of silence to focus on fixing this which was the main obstacle main issue right 
now that this is getting sorted it's either fully done this week for some of you or this is like the last bit you needed and now everything falls into place and you have a timeline and you have a plan and everyone knows what they need to be doing everyone's told they need to get out by this time they need to pay you this and that and the other or yes you got that or do you know what I mean something is now certain and it's done so you can now shift focus back to wherever your heart is and it could also be a situation in family right now that a judge has stepped in told everyone what's what you don't have to keep fighting amongst yourselves and you can just okay can we just make peace can we just you know not talk about it anymore and just be a family again you know because the pressure is off you don't have to feel defensive all the time right you don't have to feel on edge all the time so now peace can be restored a happy life at home within the family can be restored and just let's just go back to focus on what's important right if there's been a lot of arguments over money assets property inheritance someone else is calling judgment on it everyone has to do what they're told not everyone might be happy with the judgment but it will be a fair one and it's not something you can you know what I mean it's like the judge is saying this is what's happening they have this is like a decree this is a an official thing right you can't be like no I don't feel like doing that or you can't argue with this this is like the ultimate the higher power right you can't argue with them you've already agreed to do whatever they decide needs to be done so now that's done you can just try to heal the family dynamic right so Virgo very interesting reading you're gonna have to tell me what this is um, it looks interesting let me tell you it looks great it looks absolutely fantastic okay because whatever this is you've been stuck here for a very long time and not only are you getting news that is positive it's like it's it's the absolute best case scenario that you were even afraid to hope for that's exactly what it is okay so you're gonna have to tell me what you're dealing with in the comments below but um things are getting back on track as a result of this big accomplishment this big you know yeah nine of pentacles under that you focused on yourself high priestess under that focus on just getting things in order right getting things in order and that's what's happening and so now that frees you up to go back to what makes you happy you don't have to deal with the stress anymore okay so i'm going to leave it there looking forward to your thoughts have a great week ahead and i will see you in the next one bye for now